Hello everyone. Today we will discuss previous year question paper for the syllabus Com Comprehension and Communication Skills in English. There are two sections, section 1 and section 2. Section 1 talks about the objective part and section 2 is subjective part. So first of all, let us see what sort of questions usually come. Fill in the blanks and she wears to climb a dash. Supply a suitable word. So here you have to supply suitable homophone. In the first one, you will write heel, H -E -E -L, to climb a H -I -L -L hill. Question number three, she opens the door of the room. So she is a singular noun. So we will put S after the verb. Then I pray for her success. Time and tide wait for none. He made a film last night. Last night here is adverb of time and it says it is a past tense. So we will use the second form of the verb made. Write a synonym for freedom. So we can write liberty and write an antonym for peace, conflict or noise. Next question, one has the right, everyone has the right to express his views. Next type of question that we will see here, uh, you, you need to choose the correct answer and write the number of the correct answer in the box that is given here. The question number one is, atom bomb was dropped on. So Hiroshima, New York, Lahore, none of the above. So it is from the chapter. So Hiroshima is the correct answer then comes war minor shooting talks about friendship sports science none of the above so it talks about sports competitive sports evolution of competitive sports a dilemma was written by raymond b fortsick gb shaw milton or none of the above so it is written by raymond b fortsick it is a layman's, how a layman looks at science. Raymond B. Fortsick has written. So the lecture reflects on the aftermath of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima on the August 6, 1945. Next question is G.B. Shaw wrote. War minor shooting, a dilemma, none of the above, you and your English. So, G.B. Shaw wrote, you and your English. Spoken English and Broken English. It is written by G.B. Shaw. Next question. Bodyline bowling took place in hockey, basketball, cricket, none of the above. So, it took place in cricket and it was a controversy such as bodyline bowling dispute in 1921. 1984. Novel was written by George Orwell. Okay, this is the correct answer. Shaw, Fortsick, none of the above. These are not the correct answers for this question. Alright. George Orwell wrote Othello, Animal Form, Discovery of India, none of the above. He wrote Animal Form. Nationalism has been produced by big scale sports. Big scale business, big scale politics, none of the above. The correct answer here is big scale sports. All right. The next question is in 1905, Einstein write his famous poem, equation, story, none of the above. So Einstein wrote equation. Then comes section two. And here you will find subjective part where you need to answer different types of questions in detail. So the question number one here is answer any 10 out of the following 13 questions and you need to answer each question in two, three lines. So first of all, the question number one, report the following in indirect speech. The first question, Sita said to me, I never eat fruits. So Sita told me that she never ate fruits. Arun said, I have already cooked the meal. Arun said that he had already cooked the meal. So in place of have, we will put had. She said to Mohan, 
I went to Delhi last week. She told Mohan that she had gone to Delhi the previous week. She said the wood floats on water. So it is a universal truth. So you'll find that we will not change any tense in this question. He said that the wood floats on water. Question supply A and the in the blank and further use suitable prepositions in the blank space. So these two questions I'll put on the community and you need to answer the questions. Get the correct verb that agrees with subject. So you need to take care of the rules of subject verb agreement. He is a singular noun. So we will write has here. So he has been watching the TV since morning. Ram is a singular noun. So we will write it is last night also here. So we will write Ram went to a party last night. They dash is struggling with the subject. So they are a plural noun. So we will write were. They were struggling with the subject. Soldiers have not surrendered yet. So we need to take care whether it is a singular noun or it is a plural noun. So after that use the following pair of words in a sentence. So you will see the homophones here. And different type of sentences, different type of wo words, sorry. Then further, the next and next question is change the sentence into negative. I am a student, so you will always use not or never in this sentence. So these are the questions you will uh, write on community. And uh, uh, in, this, in the comment check section, you need to write the answer for this Questions. Question number seven. Write four interrogative sentences. And then question number eight. Write four positive sentences. Okay. Further, again, you will find the correct form of verbs. We now. So we are studying now. He got the job. I will go abroad tomorrow because you will find tomorrow is an adverb of time for future tense. So you'll I will go abroad tomorrow. Repairing work of the house has been stopped. And then you need to write the synonyms of the following words. So, write synonyms of the following words. First word is smart. So, for smart it is elegant, idiot, fool, big, huge, intelligent, bright. So, these are the synonym words. Next question, write four sentences in present tense. So, we can take any tense in the simple present tense. She plays cricket daily. She is playing cricket right now. She has played a cricket match. She has been playing since morning or she has been playing cricket or she has been practicing or she has been playing cricket since morning. Then the next question is answer any five out of the following following eight questions. So the question is discuss the theme of war minor shooting. That war minor shooting expressing concerns about the evolution of sports over the time. In the ancient time, including Roman and 19th century eras, sports were not taken seriously. Games like fishing and cockfighting existed but were unorganized and meant for the rustic communities as well. Arnold Further, the founder of the modern public school, considered games a waste of time and in this way, the evolution of sports preceded, then brutality in the medieval games came. And Next question is, tell the difference between home manners and company manners. Report writing plays an important role in career growth of a professional. Explain. So for that, you will see the video that I have uploaded for professional writing and report writing as well. Discuss main theme of the lesson, Dilemma. So in the whole chapter, Dilemma of Science, Pursuit of Truth versus Distraction, 
role of science in the society and certain historical examples are also discussed complexity of the dilemma how many types of letter are there give brief information what are gb shaw's views about his own speech gb shaw says not even a single person speaks english in the same way even in london people used to speak bad english and difference there is a difference between the spoken english and broken english so in this way he talks about broken english and spoken english further the next question if misused how dangerous science could be to the humanity so the whole chapter talks about how dangerous uh, the science could be if there is no control point out differences between sports and hobbies so we all know what is sports and what is hobby answer any one out of the following two questions answer of question should be in the one page so then comes the detailed answer questions so one type of question is you can be asked that write a paragraph in 15 to 20 lines on the effect of online education so any topic can be given then prepare a detailed cv include your, all your personal and professional information in that and you can also be asked that what is a cv and how can you prepare your prepare a cv what are the benefits of preparing a cv what are the steps that you need to follow for cv then answer any two out of the following three questions and answer of each question should be in one to two page first question is write a letter to the vice chancellor of a university and deem demand better facilities and security in the university campus the next question talks uh, about a detailed report of an event your college conducted a three day workshop for students on personality development for that you need to write a report precise writing of the following passage you need to precise the passage and give a suitable title so thanks very much for your patience hearing